Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Coins. In this video, you will see the detailed steps in applying for a postgraduate work permit. Before we start our application, we have to keep our documents ready. So we need four documents for postgraduate work permit application. One is the educational transcript, the transcript you got from the college, and study completion letter that from the college, your passport. I usually uh, keep my friend and back pages of my passport and insert the images in a Word document so that it will be one file and I use a digital photo as the fourth one. Let's get started with the application. I'll open my browser. I type in postgraduate work permit application. I hit enter. The first link is the one which we want. I click on it. You can also find the link down in the description to not make any mistakes. I scroll all the way down and select applying inside Canada. Next is the login uh, to an account. You can create an account or if you already have an account, you can sign in. I click that. So the two options we have is the GC key login and the sign in partner. I usually usually use a sign in partner. That's the bank institution login ID it will take directly inside. Or else you can create a new account by registering here. I For this application, I am uh, starting a new account. So register with GC key, sign up, I accept the terms, type in my user ID, so Matthew, you can choose a user ID with letters and numbers, click continue, you can choose a password. Click continue. The next page asks for uh, three recovery questions, answers, and hints. We can choose the answers, the questions, answers, and hints, and click continue once you fill all these columns. Once you're done, sign up. It will take uh, to the next page. Uh, we will see the terms and conditions. You can accept it. So here in this page, you should create your name. You should give your name, your last name, email address, kind of stuff. So I type in John Matthew. You can type in your email address and you can select your preferred language and click continue. Once you hit continue, it will take you to a page where you should give uh, four security questions and answers. You can fill out these questions and give your answers. Hit continue. Once you click continue, you will see your main account page with your name. If you have any submitted applications or uh, some application post, you will see that here. So this is your new application, you won't see anything there and you can scroll down and start an application. Apply to come to Canada for a postgraduate work permit even if you are in Canada. You can click that. So you will ask for a personal reference code. Uh, you will not be having it. You can scroll down. I don't have a personal reference code. You can click on visitor visa study or work permit. So you will be asked a few questions based on that your application continues so the first one what would you like to do in Canada for a postgraduate work permit I will select work how long you are planning the uh, PGWP is a temporary one so more than six months temporary more than six months select the code that matches your passport I select my home country oh, sorry so and your current country of residence so select Canada for that if you are personally in Canada there the application will be processed in Canada that, like that way do you have a family member who is a Canadian citizen of a permanent resident I don't have any family member like that so I select no so what's your date of birth I select my year Uh, 
sorry it again click nest are you a lawful permanent resident of united states now click next what is your current immigration status in canada so i am transferring so i select student i'm having a student permit and applying for a postgraduate work permit do you plan to work on campus? Mm, no. Are you a full-time student that are participating for secondary institution and want to work off campus up to 20 hours per week? Have you recently graduated from a participating Canadian postgraduate institution? Yes, I recently graduated. Yes. Is your work an essential part of your studies? So this is PGWP, so that's not a cop. So click next. Have you been told by immigration office that you are approved in principal permanent residence Canada? No. Have you submitted a permanent resident application? No. Do you have a written job offer? No. Do you have any official letter from your school that confirms you have completed your study program? Yeah, once you uh, done your graduation, you will get a transcript. So I'm having that. Yes. What's your marital status? If you're single, you can select that. If you're married, maybe a few more questions will be asked I with this application I just select single what is your province of destination Ontario based on that based on yours you select that so I can apply for two of these postgraduate work permit in Canada so this is what I'm trying to this is a temporary resident visa if you want to go outside and come back to Canada and your previous visa is expired you should do that I will do a separate video for this for this one I go for the postgraduate work permit in Canada click continue so the previous questions you can change anytime you want based on uh, your application so I click continue here your official letter final transcript yes i'm having a transcript i click next have you had a medical exam performed by rsc in last 12 months no uh, i have done but it's more than 12 months so i select no here have you lived in a designated country or territory for more than six months in last year i was here for my two-year program so no Do you want to work in any of the following jobs? Health science worker, uh, it's medical field. Uh, I'm not planning to work in any of those fields. If you are, you can select yes. Uh, in this case, I select no. Do you want to submit an application for your family member? If ask a few more questions and you can submit multiple applications at the time if you want. I hope I don't have anyone, so I select no here. Are you giving access to someone else to access access your application so I am doing it all by myself so uh, I select no here I don't uh, ask for a representative in the past since you have you given biometrics this question if you have given you can uh, select yes so in this case if you are selecting yes you won't be paying an extra fee and you don't be having to do a biometric you won't be having to do a biometrics or if you select no they will charge a $85 fee and you have to go to a service Canada location to do your biometrics for this application are they uh, there are fees associated with this application so yes I'll be paying my application fees are you able to make digital copy of your documents yes I will be able to do that 
yes i'll be making my payments via cards so you can review your answers you can change your answers anytime you want if you have made any mistakes you can go back and edit your answers based on that the applications may change here and there if you want to add a family member you can select yes or whatever you want once you verify that you can click continue uh, this is uh, submitting your application with the uh, informations what they need jpeg format and all you can click continue you will get your document checklist page here you will be filling your application form and uploading the documents which we have kept ready for this we click the application here i usually download this to a local folder in my desktop Let's start filling the application form which we have downloaded. It's IMM5710. We'll start with the UCI number which you will find in your study permit. So I want the service in English. I select that. Apply for your permit for the first time or with a new employer. You select your family name. You select your given name. I don't have any nicknames. I select no. Select your mail as here date of birth type in yours select my country and citizenship you're currently in canada and my status is a student here i was here 2019 january 1st to 2021 this month Select that. I have never lived in a country for in the past five years for more than six months. If you have, you can just give the details. I'm single, so I select that. So I have not married before, so I select no. My mother tongue, I select Hindi. Are you able to communicate in English? Yes, I have done a test. I give my passport number. The country it was issued was India. Issue date I select here. 2018, January 15. It's for 10 years. twenty twenty eight January fourteen. I don't have a national identity document. I select no. I don't have a USPR card. I select no. My contact information. I type in my present address eighty five John Street, London, Ontario. Type in my postal code. Presidential address is same as the mailing address, so I select that. I give my phone number. You can give your email ID so that you get the communication via your email. You can put the date when you first came to Canada. Select 2019. January 1st please was Toronto original purpose of your visit was for study if you have um, entered multiple times you can give those documents and here you can give the document number of your study permit you have so what type of work permit are you applying for this is a postgraduate work permit application select that you can give your employer details, contact address and all if you want. That's not mandatory. Have you been issued a provincial nominee program? No. Have you any post-secondary education? Give the information that I'm having here. 
So we have Canada. It was done in twenty twenty August. You can give your employment details. I started 2019. I work as a sales associate. Walmart. Canada. Ontario. If you have multiple employment details, you can give in these fields or you can leave it blank. Within the past two years, have you or family member had tuberculosis? No. Any mental disorders? No. Have you remained beyond the validity of status? No. Have you re refused a visa permit? If you have any of these answers as yes, you can give yes and give those ex explanations on those columns provided. Have you previously applied tender or remain in Canada? Yes, I have applied for my study permit. Applied for study permit. I've given that. Have you committed or arrested? No. Given that. Did you serve in military? No. Have you ever been associated with a political party? No. Have you ever witnessed or participated in ill treatment of civilians? No. So, once you have done all those things, you can sign in by typing your name and the date. Select the person date. And once everything is done, you can check it and you can hit validate. So if something is missing, it will show. So it's a, it's a telephone number I've not selected cellular. So I'll select that. Try again. Yeah. So once you have successfully validated, the forms develops a barcode with these details. That means you have done done your application if you want you can save it and keep in your folder for uploading it now we have all the documents ready we have done the application form and we have kept our supporting documents in a separate folder we should upload one by one for that I go to upload file I choose file then this is my form IMM 5710E. I open that. I upload that. So return to your documents. Here I shall upload my supporting documents. So this is an education transcript. I will upload that one. My education transcript. Click upload. That's good. So once you're uploading, you, you'll see that as green. I can see two greens for me and three reds. I shall complete all the uploading. Study letter. Next is the passport. So for passport, I have created a word file, kept uh, both file, both my front and back page in a word file. And if you want, you can add a visa. Uh, so then I have converted that a word file into a PDF because a word file won't be supported here. So passport, upload.
done. I return to the documents. Next is my digital photograph. Return to documents. So we have all the necessary ones for this application. The application form and supporting documents. This is like if you want to give any information uh, to your officer, like you can uh, make a PDF file and upload here. Let, let us click next and do the payments. So here is a declaration page and electronic signature. Click here, I agree. Click the name, give a name, John, last name, Matthew. So you'll be asked a security question, whatever you have given as a security question, you can give the answer and click sign in. Once you have click sign, you'll go to your signature page. You can scroll down. You have done agree. So you can do a payment next, transmit and pay. So once you are here, once you click transmit, you will get 20 minutes to do the payment. I usually prefer using a debit card for this application. Click transmit and pay. You can choose whichever way. If you choose Intrac, I think there is only limited number of banks. I click Visa and I will give my card number, card name, card number, expiry date. So once you hit uh, process transaction you will be done with the application once you are done the payment you will receive an email to your registered email address that's all guys thank you for watching peace out